If you're looking to simplify your composition process, then Musio from CineSamples just might be perfect for you. Hey everyone, my name is Robert Rodriguez and I'm a media composer and orchestrator. And if you're new here, I wanna invite you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I also wanna give you my free composer's reference guide. It's gonna cover the basics of how you can start writing for popular genres in film and television music. So if you are interested in that, the link for it is in the description down below. So this is a big week for CineSamples because they just released their very first in-house version one audio plugin called Musio. And if you've been following them on their social media, they have been uh, promoting this for the past few months. They've had a beta testing program for the past few months. Um, and this is something that has been in the work for years. So this is a pretty huge deal for them. Musio is a subscription-based product that gives you access to a catalog of sounds and libraries from CineSamples. And I think what sets Musio apart from maybe other individual libraries is that it's built on simplicity. Basically, users have an all-access pass to top-tier CineSample libraries. But instead of purchasing these individual libraries like Cinebrass or Cineperk, which could cost you a few hundred dollars each, you are gonna have a chance to access the prime functions of the libraries at a download as you go basis. So if you head on over to the Musio website, musio.com, you'll see this layout. You could try it for free. You could just scroll down and you kind of get your basic features, access more features here, um, scroll down what people are saying. Um, you get an introduction to what Musio is and you can see their pricing. So if we head on over to the pricing page, you'll see that, like I said, this is a subscription based product. So you can access the whole catalog of samples for either $20 a month or $150 per year. And it does say that this is an early adopter price. I don't know if that means that this annual price will increase down the line, or if that is kind of like annual price where you save 37%, you see a cheaper price if you subscribe for the year. Um, so I'm guessing that's what it means, but not entirely too sure. And I am actually just noticing this now, but they offer, uh, I guess, an educator pricing as well. So if you are an educator, you are probably gonna get a discount of some kind. So what's kind of great about this subscription model, and it seems like a lot of other companies are trying to go this way as well, but you are gonna get a high quantity of high quality samples at a relatively low recurring cost. And I quickly touched on this before, but it does come with a 14 day free trial. So you don't have to pay the 20, you don't have to pay the 150, just get started for 14 days. And then after that, you can decide whether or not you wanna continue. All right, so the first thing that you should do is probably create a Musio account on their website. And then once everything is downloaded and kind of ready to go, then you can open up your DAW. And in this case, we'll be using Logic Pro. And then under Instrument, I just pulled up Musio from Instruments. And I will actually, let's make four just for now. All right, and so this is it. This is the very first default setup of Musio. This might look a little different in the future, depending on your watching this. But for right now, we have three main sections to look at. So over on the left, we are gonna get the instrument rack. And the instrument rack is basically where you're gonna load up your instruments. Right now, obviously nothing is loaded, so we will see what that looks like in a bit. Then over on the right-hand side, we are gonna have the instrument catalog. This is gonna be where you see all of the libraries that are available to you. And just a side note, CineSamples did say that they already have a few more libraries that they are gonna include. So this is going to get updated over time, which I'm really excited for. But basically this is where you're gonna access any of the articulations that you might want. Then the third section is this top kind of settings tab. This is where you're gonna be able to access um, pretty basic settings. You'll see your global memory that's being used. You could save or load up any Musio files that you have. Then you're gonna have this search option. And what's great about Musio is that it's built on this idea of search, load, and play. So remember, this is all built on simplicity. 
So you can start just searching for a library and then you can start seeing what you have. Then you're gonna see the download button where you can show or hide your downloads. Then you kind of have your standard three vertical lines and this is gonna be where you can access your account, your settings, um, tutorial or submit feedback. So I really do love that the libraries come with little cover images to show you what to expect. So like Cinebrass, uh, Cineharp, you see the harp, percussion, um, strings and, and winds and so on. I think it's just really a nice touch and it's kind of pleasing to the eye. But if you do want to get rid of the library section, you can adjust the size of both the rack and the catalog right here by dragging this along. So that'll make it a little bit smaller. And then if you just wanna get rid of it altogether, you can just hide the catalog and then you'll see your loaded instruments. But at the time of this recording, the libraries that are available to you right now are like African marimba, Cinebrass, Cineharp. Um, what's kind of cool about Cineperk is that they actually split this out into subcategories. So you have your auxiliary percussion, your big percussion, your metals, your orchestral percussion, tonal, wood, world. So I really like that they tried to make it as easy as possible for you, especially with something as massive as Cineperk. Then as we scroll down, we have Cine Strings, Cine Symphony Light, which is kind of just like your orchestral hits, your ensemble patches. Uh, you have Cine Winds, you have Lin Drum, a couple of kits, handbells, uh, more drums, the Forbes pipe organ, um, a synth, some pianos, drums, mallets, and choir. So let's look for Cine Strings. Let's load that up. And once you click on Cine Strings, you're gonna see a ton of articulations all categorized by instrument. Violins one at the top, you're gonna get violins two, then it should go down to violas, cellos, and basses. I do kind of wish that the articulations were maybe categorized by instrument folders, um, just so that we would have five individual folders um, instead of a longer list of articulations, but I think that's just a personal preference. Again, it is kind of nice that they do separate it out. Like, you know, everything on top is violin one, and then next up is violin two, and so on. So I think one of the coolest things about Musio is that you can just download the articulations that you want. This is really helpful if maybe you don't have that much space on your computer or external hard drive. You get to pick and choose which articulations you think you'll use the most, and you'll be able to save storage by doing so. So let's just load in some patches that I already have downloaded for violin one. I like to keep it in a relatively specific order, so I like legato on top. So it's already downloaded, we are just loading it into the instrument rack. Then I will go to spiccato, staccato, pits, colenio, I think that was everything at the bottom. And then whole step, half step. So that should be seven tracks or seven instrument tracks. And we'll just wait for them to load. What's really nice about Musio is that it is energy efficient and really lightweight. So seven articulations with one of those articulations being a legato vibrato patch is this is only taking up 120 megabytes. That's actually a really big deal because just a legato patch normally could be 120 alone, maybe even more. Um, so the fact that we have seven articulations, all for 120, that's, that's really great. So there is something that you can do in Musio that makes loading up instruments even easier than it already is. Uh, if you were to go over, let's see, to settings, go to the actual settings option. Oop, let me bring this on over here you'll get Musio Connect. And Musio Connect is kind of just an in-depth look at the settings behind the scenes. Um, it kind of like declutters the Musio app itself um, and you can access everything through here. So this third switch right here, this auto increment MIDI channel switch by default is turned off, which means that 
every time you load in an instrument, the MIDI channel is gonna be set to one, which is fine, but every time you load something in, it might come out of MIDI channel one, which I, for the most part, don't use, don't want that to happen. Um, but if you turn it on, you can load in the instruments and the articulations, and it'll automatically increase in an ascending order, which is what I did here. Uh, so one through seven. And so the biggest reason why I like doing something like that is because if I want this one Musio instance to be my violin one, then I'll load in all the articulations that I want for violin one, legato, spiccato, staccato, and on and on and on. And this one instance becomes that single instrument. And what's great about having these MIDI instruments appear through different MIDI channels is that you can then route them to their own separate individual track in Logic. So if you are a Logic user and you wanna learn more about this process, then definitely check out my video on how you can set up MIDI tracks in your Logic template. So basically what I did was I set up seven MIDI tracks in Logic that are all routed to MIDI out one, MIDI out two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So everything that's coming out of MIDI channel one will come out of this MIDI track. Uh, two goes to two, three, three, four, four, five, and on and on and on. There are pros and cons to a setup like this, but this is something that I go over in that video, so definitely check it out. So let's just take a look at the violins, for example. If I loaded everything correctly, this MIDI instrument track should go directly to Legato. All right, then maybe spiccato. All right, so that's based on velocity. Yeah, the mod wheel doesn't do anything there. Uh, staccato, pizzicato, let's try the one of the trills. This is gonna be whole step trill. That is based on the mod wheel. Awesome. And uh, let me actually hear pits. Yeah, I like that it does kind of offer that aggressive pizzicato. Uh, Colenio. And then what's kind of great about Musio is that it shows you the controls. Um, one, it has this overall global uh, control option, but you can of course just go instrument by instrument as well. One thing to keep in mind is that Musio is all about simplicity, right? So you are really gonna just be able to access dynamics, which is modulation, expression, and reverb. Those are your three controls. That can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing depending on how you wanna use Musio. But I think when it comes to simplicity, that's all you need. Um, we'll kind of talk about my overall thoughts later on in the video, but just know that you have your dynamics, expression, and reverb. So what I wanna do is get a fresh start. Um, I remove the violin one articulations, and I decided to go towards Cinebrass. Um, maybe let's check out a trumpet solo. 
So it's going to download and then load into the rack. Maybe trombone ensemble. Maybe a horn solo. All right, so trumpet solo should be routed to MIDI channel one, trombone MIDI channel two, and horn solo MIDI channel three. Trombone. solo. I want to try a short sample. I guess trombone staccato. Maybe Stockatissimo. So let's let that download and then it'll load in. And that should be channel four, channel four. And so like the violins, um, again, short samples are based on velocity rather than uh, modulation, but you can still adjust the expression. So that is our brass. Maybe let's try something else. Uh, let's try the search bar first. What if I were to just say Cine? Um, orchestral. And I happen to have these already, so let's maybe try. So this is hits soft mallet, and then this would be hits media mallet. And for the sake of consistency, let's try hard mallet. Let's try Symphony Effects, and that's going to come out of channel four. Ooh. So those are some timpanis. Let's get rid of them. Let's see, what else can we look at? So a little bit of the strings. Let's try Cinewinds. Let's try that. Let's try maybe a half step trill. Maybe clarinet sustains. All right, so this should be flute. There we go. We got a half step trill. And clarinet sustain.
So if you are familiar with Cinewins, like the individual product, and more specifically Core, uh, you'll be familiar with the sound of these samples. I love bassoon, so let's try bassoon staccato, and that'll be channel four. All right, so let's keep going. Let's just take a look at some more choir, maybe. Let's try long ah. So what I want to do is listen to the recorded layers uh, kind of built into the mod wheel. Very quiet dynamic. And somewhere around there is where it changes a little bit. Again, a little bit more it changes. And right there. All right, and what was Bum Bum? Oh. That's really cool, actually. Uh, it gives it a nice little attack every time you play something. But again, these are probably all from uh, the Voxos library. So if you have it, you are probably very familiar with these. But what's nice is that I don't have all of the Sin Sample products, but something like Musio does give me access to at least the basics, which I think is really cool. Uh, let's try Men Ah Long, which is channel one. I hope you're kind of getting a sense of just the search, load, and play feeling of Musio already. Right now, I'm just kind of going through the different instruments that they have so far. Let's go to maybe the 808. Uh, let's go tuned. And that's coming out of one. Right, I guess let's try African marimba. Let's try traditional mallet. Let's try stick. Let it load, and here we go. Maybe drums of war. Let me get rid of you, and war ensemble, just to start. So as you can see, the highlighted range is really just a C and a D. But if we were to go to Earth Mover, what would that sound like? Once again, C and D. What if we were to even 
increase the reverb just a bit. Give it a little bit more room. Um, and let's try one more, maybe Mammoth Calls. All right, so this, the range has increased a bit more, so let's check that out. So very atonal kind of uh, sounds. Great effects. That's kind of it. Right now, this is the library that we have at our disposal. But like I said, they're probably going to be kind of updating this, changing this around as time goes on. So kind of just be on the lookout. But this is really a great start, and it does offer all the orchestral tools that we need to begin. So I think Musio is a huge step in the right direction for cine samples. Honestly, for many of you, the pros and cons of something like Musio might be vary, but I think you should probably keep in mind the the function or the goal of what Musio is. Like, how does it serve composers? What is it designed for? And I've said this throughout the video, but Musio is built on simplicity. It's kind of this idea that you shouldn't have too many technical obstacles in your way. So as I was kind of going through, I would search for a sample, an instrument, a patch, I would load it up and I would just play. I would be able to play it directly into my DAW. And I think I just really love that I can see the libraries in front of me. Not just a list, not just names, but I can see the little image. Um, when I click on it, I can choose which patch I wanna download. I think that just makes this very easy and very light on my computer. If you are looking for the kind of control uh, that you might get when loading in an instrument that runs on contact, then I don't think Musio is gonna be right for you. And honestly, you might be better off purchasing the individual library itself. In its current form, Musio is not a replacement for contact, and I don't think it's designed to be. You're gonna have a lot more control over the instruments that go beyond just uh, modulation, expression, and reverb, but that's if you purchase the library separately. You'll be able to adjust round robins. You'll be able to kind of tweak mic settings. Here, again, you're just loading and playing. And the thing is, a lot of musicians out there don't really need much more than that. Especially when getting started, you shouldn't really have to worry so much about all the right settings before you even play something. Like, I love that any new composer, anyone looking to start writing their own music at a relatively low cost, $20 a month, can just access some of these top tier sounds. And so I think that is the audience that something like Musio can cater to. And again, since this is version one, when you download this, you may come across some bugs or glitches, but the Cine Samples support team is very solid. They are just great. They're always looking for feedback. The fact that you can just quickly go up here and just submit feedback is great on them because they want to give you a great product. They want to make this better. And I think honestly, they are willing to help you as a user of their product, however they can. They wanna make things easier on you. But overall, Musio is designed to make the translation from idea to DAW as easy as possible. And I also just absolutely love CineSamples. They were one of my very first libraries uh, when I started a few years back. And it's great to see kind of the path that they've taken, how they've grown over the years. And you've probably seen in maybe some of my other videos that I've used their products in the past. They are my go-to for Cinebrass. They're my go-to for CineWinds. They're my harp library. The only thing was that they really just offered their products and that's it. They would run sales and sometimes they would do 50% off sales. So be on the lookout for that, but there wasn't necessarily a, a an entrance to their products. And I think this solves that problem. Musio gives anyone 
affordable and easy access to some of their best libraries. So I'm really excited to play around with Museo. I'm really excited to see what other libraries they include. Um, I think this is a really, really great step in the right direction for them. All right, so let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten a chance to try out Museo. I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts and if you found a cool tip or trick, definitely let me know. Um, I'm gonna be playing around with this some more as time goes on. And if you did get value out of today's video, then definitely consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to download the free composer reference guide. The link is in the description. And if you wanna show some extra support for the channel, you can head on over to my Patreon page or you can simply just buy me a coffee. The links for those are in the description as well. So that's gonna be it from me. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy composing.